Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. I had to do a lot of thinking um, about what I'm going to do. As mentioned in the previous video, I want to make a video about spending money and at the same time this Wheel of Fortune event came up and they changed it to the energy essence. So um, I got already quite a lot of feedback about this. It looks like nobody is happy with it. Um, the free to pay players, they are like, oh my god, everything is pay to win now. And very surprisingly, the pay to win, the whales, they are also crying because they can't use the Corium anymore. Before, they can use all the Corium they got from their packs here. And um, yeah, this is now useless for them. So um, it is, I think, the first time in the game, as far as I know, where everyone is crying and say, hey, this is not good. So there are a lot of players, whales, that have like hundreds of thousand Corium left over and they love to use it on the wheel because we all know the rewards were pretty good for Corium. And now they can't do this. Now they would need to buy these packs here um, where they don't get anything useful. They can get a resource chest, um, tons of resources, we all love these. And that's it. So, um, it seems everyone is unhappy with this event. And so am I. Um, I was thinking what are the best ways to spend money. So first thing I'm going to spend is still I'm going to buy um, the space plan. If you didn't buy it, you see I already bought it. Um, if you didn't, this one is really reasonable to buy. You get good um, rewards for the money you spend. So besides that, what do we have? Um, I'm going to spend uh, probably around $200 today. I want to show you what happens to my account and how much it changes my account. Right now I'm at 45, nearly 45 million, 44.93 million. And um, let's see what are the most interesting areas to spend money in. Chip building, no. Crew, very likely crew is always interesting. If you can upgrade some of your important crew members, this usually helps you a lot. Um, as you see, I'm with a crew level around level 15, level 20. Also increasing the crew level is still an interesting option. If we look into my crew formation, I'm only at 436 points. There's still a little bit of option to increase here um, to at the end upgrade to the 10% additional warship attack that works everywhere. So um, crew XP, crew ID chips, they are both interesting for my account. Um, equipment, yes, but more interesting and this is something I'm really looking forward to push to, not for the Prometheus, but for the Cyclops. I did rank up the Cyclops and it would be really good to unlock rank 9. So right now I am still at rank 7, um, rank 7 2 to be um, precise. So I need to go complete the way up to rank 8 and from 8 to 9 to get there. To get my flagship up, I will need at least 60,000 Advanced Federation credits. And if we take a look here, um, we do have Federation credits in the weekly special. That means we can buy these once per week. 1, 5, 3, 9. Um, yeah, that's close to 7,000 Federation credits. And then we don't have anything here. In the Federation supplies there's also no advanced Federation credits. So we can get around 7000 advanced Federation credits from these packs here. Monthly special also has none. New e specials, I don't think there were any. No. Um, in the pack section we do have two packs with advanced Federation credits. So that's now, yeah, that's seven, that's 8,000, um, 9,600, 12,000, 15, 2, um, 16, 20,100, 
So as you can see, there's no way for me to get to 60,000 Federation credit. And this pack alone here would already be 100 US dollars. So getting my flagship ranked up by buying advanced Federation credit, um, that's not reasonable. Um, I would need to pay much, much more than only $200. Um, if you are a whale, so meaning you spend three digits every day, you spend four digits every month, then you might be able to do this. So very likely, I know that some whales do this, they do buy the weekly special every week. Um, this is around 5, 10, so that's 15, plus 20, that's 35 dollars every week. Um, I'm not a whale. I'm not even a dolphin, I think. Um, mostly I spend money only for creating this video. So what other options do we have? I will not be able to rank up my flagship in any way that it would matter for me. Um, I could get some data cards for crew members. There's also crew XP, so that is nice. Um, unfortunately, if we can take a look at Augustine. Augustine is bringing missile weapon attacks. That's something I'm not looking into. Madeline is bringing warship HP. Um, nice, but not what I want to spend on. So we do have a special at the moment, um, which is for frigates. Uh, frigate, um, frigate attack and HP. So if you are using frigates, if you're an Artemis user, this is really great. This is an offer you probably should go for. Um, oh, the second one, they change it. Um, here we now have destroyers, and I can already imagine what we have in the last one. We do have 30 data cards for Captain Goodman. Um, hmm. Yeah, interesting. I would like to have these 30 data cards. But I cannot buy the last pack without buying the two packs before, and I don't want um, these two. So, where are we then? I don't want to buy any um, warships, it's just not worth to do so. Yeah, we already said I'm not happy with this one, so also not going for that one. Federation credits cannot bring me enough to be relevant, not for the amount I want to spend. Gear could be maybe. Um, you can always buy resources to increase the things you build. I would not recommend to buy any Corium because there's nothing you can spend it for anymore. Rebel citation devices, it's gambling. Um, more resources, more resources. Um, yeah, so I could go for the Cyclops treasure and hoping to get a lot of Cyclops blueprints here, because here I do get the blueprints directly. Um, this might be the better investment. The problem there also, it's a daily purchase of one. Um, Five dollar, and I think this was uh, seven or eight dollars. Um, so not really the amount I was looking into spending. What else can we get? So the Cyclops packs, as I'm a Cyclops user, will bring me forward. If you use um, Hades, you are much better off because you can buy these packs where you get Hades blueprints and they reset every week. And I mean, 83 Hades blueprints is pretty nice. I forgot to check for the VIP shop. Um, let's start here. Let's take a look. If you didn't spend in the VIP shop, like me, you do get um, Artemis. They did change this, and I think the Artemis is a very interesting flagship. So um, you can spend quite a lot, but you do also get quite a lot of Artemis blueprints. Uh, 120, 160. 200 and then we switch over so up to 
VIP 7, you do get Artemis blueprints. Let me calculate that and be back in a second. So that would give me a total of 690 blueprints for the Artemis. Um, 690 blueprints, that would bring me to rank 4. Um, also, no. So, what can I do? Um, where can I spend? What would be the best way to spend? $200. What would bring me forward? Currently, I am building my command center level 27. So I already know as soon as I have this, I will need to spend quite a lot of resources to upgrade defense centers, research center. Um, I do have some resources left in my boxes. Um, as you see, I will need a lot of deuterium, so it might be an option to go for deuterium, um, nickel, plasma. Um, I don't really see another way to to spend that money that it really brings me forward. So we already said shipbuilding, there's nothing to spend, campaign, there's nothing, research is resources, same as common center is resources. We did check the flagship. I cannot get enough blueprints to really bring me forward there. I could say I spent all of it just to bring the Cyclops closer to rank 9, but I won't be able to get it to rank 9. Um, my crew, I do have all the crew members, so there's no one missing. I wouldn't go for crew ID cards there. Um, I could just go for for the ID cards of existing crew members and XP. And um, what I would like from you now is, please use the comments and tell me what would you do? What would you recommend me to use the money and um, bring forward this account? Would you buy crew chips? Would you buy crew XP? Would you buy specific packs over a certain time? Would you go and buy um, the Cyclops packs for a week or something like this? Or would you go and buy um, more of the Advanced Federation credits? I'm really curious what you would do. And I will do whatever gets the most likes in the comment section. So I already have an idea. Um, the most reasonable thing to do would be to go for the Cyclops Hex over a long time, combined with um, the Advanced Federation weekly packs. They do have the best value there. Um, but to make it more fun, let's make it this way. You tell me in the comment section what you would do, and whatever suggestion gets the most thumbs up, is what I'm going to do in one of the next videos. Oh, we got a Laura. Uh, no, sorry, we got a Molly. That's nice. Look at this small ball. Um, I already have her, so it's 10 ID cards. It's always good, so I can rank her a little bit up. Um, also, 700 crew XP is really nice to get. Um, oh yeah, we have to do the additional recruits here. We get a Connor. Okay, we do get one. <laughs> it looks like it's Molly Day. Um, it's not bad. I won't complain about that. Another 10 ID cards we get here. Okay, and Helen. I use her as one of my commanders on the fleet now, so it's not too bad. So where do we have them? Oh right, I'm using her not so much anymore. I will probably put her in as captain in this case. We will have warship HP and laser weapons. That will fit perfectly for... Um, yeah, great, we will unlock it already. That will fit perfectly for my Prometheus fleet, where I want to use laser weapons. So we now got a 14% laser weapon bonus and a 12% attack bonus. So we will promote her as captain. Yes, promote her. And um, yeah, we will use her there. That's, that's pretty nice. I like that. 
and here we also we can rank her up one time to get a little bit more laser damage so that will be the second flagship captain on the laser fleet okay so yeah um as i said please give me your feedback tell me how i should spend the money um <laughs> Right, there is this pack after you get um, get one of the legendaries. I will get this. Okay, so we got this pack. Um, it is one of the few things that really is worth it. There's also the flagship packs that you can get when you um, get a new flagship. And um, yeah, I mean... That's pretty nice. We now got a laser buff of 18%, 18.7%. So that's even better. Um, might also be an option to buy more of these citation devices that I can recruit more and more crew members. Um, it's interesting, legendary. I can buy it one more time. Um, yeah, maybe we already have a way to spend our money here. Okay, so we bought it a second time and 10 additional Molly cards. Let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, that's all. Um, the killing spree, these are pretty nice buffs. So um, I was talking in the video before about this golden um, leadership bonus, 30%. Um, this is strong. Also, the defense, it's 25%. HP is 25%. Attack is 25%. So, um, if you're looking forward to really push the limits, that's a pretty good pack. Um, for all others, probably we can go with a 20% pack. But, um, yeah. So, I will just rank up my Molly. No, I need 20 now. Okay. So, um, I won't rank her up anymore. I will have to wait till I get one more of her. Um, give the video thumbs up. Don't forget to write in the comments how I should spend the money. Um, two thumbs up the ideas you think I should spend money. So if there's already someone writing how I should spend it and that's the way you want me to spend it, give it a thumbs up. The ones that have the most thumbs up at the end, this is the way I will spend my money. And um, then I'll see you all on the next video again. Okay, so as little addition here. Um, I did get two more, uh, 20 more citation devices, and I have to just get them. Maybe I can get more mollies here now. We just have to try. Okay, first try didn't work. Second try. No, that is not molly. Let's see. We do have also the option to get one more here, and also not. Okay, 